All right, welcome back for round two of the Taurus PT-111 G2 um, disassembly and assembly video. This is part two. This will be the assembly. We've already got the gun completely stripped apart, and now we're going to go ahead and put it back together. Um, so if you haven't seen the disassembly video, I'll throw a link in the description, and um, uh, you can check that out first. This will tell you how to completely get it down to bare frame minus the mag release, which is pretty standard on most guns. If you ever take that apart, you can take that out, but I didn't really find a need to on this one. It's kind of more of a pain to take it out just for videos. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with the sear block and the actual sear itself. So if you took this part, this apart during the video, you'll have three pieces here that need to go back in the gun. So you have your actual sear itself, the sear spring, and then the, the, the roll pin that goes through, or the pin that goes through. So when we look at the, the sear, it'll sit in the housing injector up like this. So you see it's got this little lip on it. It's gonna sit basically down in it like this. So this is kind of the way it'll look but you'll have to go from the bottom up. And then you have the spring, which I'll show you the way it sits. So imagine this all being together the way it sits right here. And then this spring will be sitting on the bottom like this. So it's gonna, it's got a notch cut out there in it. And the spring with the, the L shape right here is gonna sit like this. It's gonna go up and you'll have through there just to show you it'll go through kind of like this with the, the pin through it so that's how it'll sit in there now it's easier said than done getting it all back in there I'm gonna try it a different way than I've done before and so when I set the I went ahead and put the spring in there and I'm just gonna drop the, the sear in there too and it kind of goes in a certain way and then once it's in, it kind of rotates up to its spot. So we got it all set together. Lightly tap it down. And I'm going to get a different punch. And just push it down in there. And then what I like to go ahead and do is get your pin ready. Now the pin goes through the smaller hole here on the bottom fingers in the way there so it goes through this hole on the other side you can go through either way but um so i'm gonna push down in there and push that spring because you have to put a little tension on that spring and then you want to try to get everything lined up while you push that spring down in there so it takes a little bit of finesse get everything lined up And sometimes it's easier to just look through the hole and look through the hole and see where we're at. It's not exactly all there yet. So I'm going to try to I'm just going to go ahead and take this out so I can get the sear set right first. It'll get lodged in there if you don't get in there perfectly. So you can put the spring in afterwards. So we'll just go ahead and do it like that. We'll just go ahead and go back to front, slide it up in there. And then what I, I usually will do is just go ahead and put the spring or the pin through and get the sear kind of captured like that so I went ahead and put it through so now the sear's captured and I'll just back it out just a little bit enough to where I can start putting the spring in and the spring like I said the L will go towards the front like the ejector there we go still got it 
So you want to drop it down in there. Get the little L shaped on the on its notch. Slide it over for a little bit. And then you want to if you can, can you're going to have to push down on the spring at the same time. So kind of get it dropped in there. Push it over a little bit. And use a flat end if you got it. Use a little bit bigger one here. And push the spring down. And while you push the spring down, get it lined up just right. You'll be able to slide the pin back through like that. So now it's all the way through and in. And now I'll try to get a close up of what I actually did. So I know that wasn't the best video here. So if you look on the top, your sear is like this, you got the lip, and the spring is down in there. You should have one single, so the straight bar coming down from the back right here. Looking at it from the inside, if it'll focus. Um, the part with the the L sits in on the, the little notch here on the, on the sear. Then the longer part comes back, so it goes up, coils around the, the pin, and up. So you kind of see the way it sits. I think once you have it apart and in front of you, you'll see the, what I'm talking about. Okay, so that part's done. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, let's see, we'll do the... Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw the trigger housing back in the block here. We'll set that down there. Um, this part's pretty simple. 